everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you how to make chili dogs in pita. Now, I already have a chili going on my stove top. You can use whatever kind of chili you desire. But tonight, if you want to use the one I'm using, make sure you check out the show for how to cook Napa Jack's Merlot Barbecue Beef Chili. Fantastic. We're tailgating with it today and it's uh, on the stove top and nearly ready to go. So what I have here is I have um, some hot dogs that I'm going to use and I'm just going to put them into the pot to heat through. Now it is a whole bunch of snow outside today and I'm not going out there to grill. So I'm just going to do it this way. If you wanted to grill the dogs first, that's obviously a way awesomer way to eat them. So today we're just doing it this way. And it goes into the hot chili and they're going to heat up in there and get flavored by that chili as well. Now I'm going to get some pita prepared. I'm actually going to wrap these guys and put them in my oven to heat through. Um, that way I'm, it can easily be manipulated and it's less likely to break because it's rigid. So I'm just going to throw them in some foil. Wrap them in foil. I'm just going to sprinkle the foil with um, a little bit of water. It's just going to moisten up those pita nicely. So I've got three of them here, and that's going to provide you with six pockets to be able to fill for chili dogs, okay? So wrap them nicely up, and we're gonna put them in the oven just to heat through. You can put them in there probably at 300 degrees for, I don't know, five minutes or so. Five, 10 minutes if you want. Now in the meantime, get your um, condiments ready. For chili dogs, we like to serve it with cheese, cheddar cheese, and some people like mozzarella on it. We're gonna have some um, cilantro and some fresh parsley. Also, you could do some green onions sliced up nicely. Uh, lime is a nice touch. Sour cream is a nice touch. Hot sauce, of course. Now the pitas, they're a nice touch for this, but um, you can definitely use hot dog buns if you want to make your own. Make sure you check out my show for how to make homemade hamburger buns. You can also make them into the hamburger hot dog buns, and it explains everything on the website uh, with the show. So a little bit of cheddar. If you wanted some jalapenos and things. You could do, if you were tailgating, you could do a chili dog bar and just have a whole bunch of cool uh, condiments and let everyone make their own mix and match it all the way they like it. Now today I'm using this chili for chili dogs, but if you wanted to serve it up in bowls, feel free to do that. People are going to like that too. I have some condiments out. You can add some jalapenos to the top, some sliced green onions. I've got some shredded cheddar. I have some mozzarella for other people. I've got uh, sour cream. You can add salsa, hot sauce, whatever. And make sure you have a little bit of extra barbecue sauce because some people might want to add some to their bowls. But since I'm doing these for chili dogs, I have my dogs in the pot right now eating through so that they're ready and they have some nice flavor on them as well. I'm also going to French, freshly mince up some cilantro and parsley just to garnish everything. So I'm just freshly mincing some uh, cilantro and some parsley so I can garnish my beautiful chili dogs. And my pitas are nice and heated through, so let's get them out of the oven. All right, now they're nice and soft and pliable. So we are just going to take out one of them, keep the other ones nice and moist and warm. And I'm going to slice this in half. And you're gonna be able to access the pocket inside of the pita so that you can fill it with your hot dog and the chili and your fixings. So when they're nice and warm, they just split open just easily. And if they don't, just kind of have to maneuver them ever so gently to open that up. Okay? Yeah, beautiful pocket. Okay, so I'm ready to do one of these. Let's show you how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna use a bowl just to sort of fold up my pita a little bit better. Grab yourself one of the dogs. You can use whatever kind of dogs or sausages you like. There it goes. And I'm just gonna scoop some of the chili all on top. Gorgeous. So that is, there you have it. You can fill it up a little bit more, but you wanna have some you know, something to hold on to. You don't want it to break through there either. So I'm going to top with some cheddar cheese and a little bit of sour cream for me. A little bit of that parsley and cilantro. Now 
and I'm going to serve mine with a wedge of lime. If you wanted to put some rice in with your chili, go ahead and do that. People would like that too. I have some made as well. But that's mine. That's how I feel. There's my chili dog in a pita. So easy. And if you didn't think of it, it's a cool idea, right? So that chili is really hot. I'm going to make another one. And uh, you'll see me in a second so I can taste test it for you. So I finally get to try this. It looks so good. Squeeze some lime on it. Oh, goodness. Look at this. That pita just kind of hugs all that chili. You can put a whole bunch in there, more than you would be able to if you used a pot. So let's dig in. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. There you go. You have the pita holding your dog and the chili, and I have some sour cream and all those beautiful southwestern flavors in there. Mmm. Fantastic tailgating food. Mm. 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 That chili is fantastic. The garbanzo beans, kidney beans, nice tomatoey, barbecuey flavor. That fantastic barbecue sauce that went in there from Wine Country Kitchen. Snap a Jack's Merlot barbecue sauce. And all those savory spices from our spice mix. Um, this Jack, Napa Jack steak rub did a beautiful job at really giving us a foundation of flavor. Oh, that fresh lime wakes it up. All those fresh herbs. Mmm. Mmm. Great with your chili dogs for the game. Mmm. Mm hmm That was so good, I'm going to get myself another one. <laughs> So make sure you try this recipe. You're really going to love it. Everyone's going to love it. The kids, the adults, everybody. This is kind of a decadent, like, just amazing tailgating treat, okay? That pocket holds all that chili in there. You can customize. You can hold all kinds of stuff in there, all kinds of toppings. Wonderful. Anyhow, make sure you do this. You're going to like it, okay? Try it the next time you guys think of tailgating or have a barbecue or something like that. Really cool way to do it. Anyhow, that's how you do it, folks. That's how you cook chili dogs in a pita. You're going to love it, okay? Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly, and you can find me syndicated on Roku. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.